What's good, podcast world? What's good, YouTube? Back for another episode of Charging to the Game Sports and Sports Betting Podcast. Brought to you by the Bet US Sports app. Uh, simply eight vitamin gummies, man. Got the gummies right here. Getting ready for the uh, the fall season, man. So get that body right. Hope you guys are staying healthy. Uh, but fellas, man, the whole crew's here, man. We haven't been back for a little minute. Uh, I know we've been, we've been having a lot of things going on, man, but it's a blessing to chop it up with again with you guys, man. What's been, what's been up? Uh, same old, same old. What's up, man? How y'all doing? Man, sick. Uh, but I'm out here. I don't know what's going on with your Raiders, but I mean, oh, God. they're trying to sue Adams now. I mean, let's let's talk a little bit about that since we're gonna spend long. With it. And everybody that's listening to the show, you know, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna do yeah. recap. We're gonna talk week six. We're gonna talk fight coming up. We're going to the fight Wilder Helenus in New York. But Jay, I want to talk to you about this uh, this Arena situation, man. Because yeah. well, I guess we can talk about the game and what happened with Adams. So, from your perspective, what happened with Adams first and foremost? Well, Adams was frustrated. Somebody got in his way. He pushed him. You know what I'm saying? That's really it to it. I see people trying to make excuses on the internet. But he jumped in his way. Look, look, look. Adams already apologized. Not only that, am I really mad at Adams doing that? I don't think Adams should have done that. But let's just be real. Kansas City Chiefs Stadium are some racist, disrespectful motherfuckers. And that's just how it is. I mean, Max Crosby had to throw a drink back into the stands. They were throwing shit. You know, so it's like, to, I mean, yeah, we're, we're mad that we lost, but that environment is just very hostile, you know what I'm saying? And that's not something that's talked about enough with Kansas City at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true. But, Jay, I got to ask you this, man. I mean, y'all was up smooth in that first half. I had money on the Chiefs. Um, and that's why I do, you know, oh, teasers. I'm just letting you guys know. That in game. Or, but or the in-game. In <laughs> or the in-game. Yeah, in, in the in-game, too. Yeah, if you took, oh, if you see, took, we, the, we got a story, but how about to say, yeah. oh, if you took the Kansas City Chiefs in the first half, they was plus five point five. I hope y'all capitalize on that and plus money to, uh, to win still. Or the second I, half min- minus seven and a half. Minus so it was seven, easy, easy money. So it's like we we know them games gonna be close, but yeah, bro, I lost my shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. We start driving down the field. I'm good. I'm in my, I'm in my room. Watching the game, I see us moving down the field. I'm like, oh, we already had midfield? Okay, cool. You know, I walk out there, talk to my lady, like, yeah, we won. I'm having a good night tonight. Come back in here. And when I seen Adams run into Hunter, I lost it. Because he, one of them were going to be open. It was caught. It worked. And they collided with each other, stumbled up over each other. And I fucking lost it. Because all we needed was a field goal kick at that point. And we've been in range. We was already you're, midfield. Yeah, you're, you're kicking from, yeah. from 60. Yeah, that, that's nothing. We just need a little bit. And boom. Man, we shouldn't have lost that one. That's, that's the Raiders. That's the Raiders MO all this season. We give away fucking wins. So how are you feeling at this point about Josh McDaniels? Like, what do you, from your perspective, like, what do you feel? I mean, obviously, it's still his first year. But a lot yeah. of people are still saying they're not comparing him to Hackett and shit. But, I mean, he has been a real disappointment. But how do you like McDaniel so far? Um, I'm not a fan. Uh, there, There's two reasons why outside of this. Like, one, it's clear that it's clear that um, when we run the ball, we, we do a lot better. When, we're, when we win... When um, Josh Jacobs goes over 150 yards before this game, we're like five and one. So it's like, with that being said, run the fucking ball. Two, with me and Z, we just talk about why the fuck are you going for a two <laughs> point conversion that instead of crazy. tying it up? Fucking crazy. So, I mean, you know, 31 I'm, 30, three, three minutes left, and you go for two. Fucking idiot. So it's like, you know, I, I don't. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't trust uh, our defense. Possibly. I. I mean, shit. We're still shitting on beforehand. Chandler's still been a nothing but a disappointment. Max has been out there eating by himself again, per usual. Yes, so sir. it's like it's it's um. Go look it up, y'all. If y'all want to hate, definitely more pressures. Definitely tackles. Number one right now. I forgot the other four, but we can probably just guess those. So like, I man, I I don't really know. I, th- I like his play calling when it when it's on point, but it's just the, the little blemishes. 
You know, like it, why is it taking so long for us to get five games in to realize how dominant our rush can be? We should have saw that in game two or three. Yeah. We have Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is a dog when he's healthy. So it's like, why the fuck are we not doing that? That's why I don't understand. If someone can explain that to me. I ain't got no problem with the brother. So that's that two-point conversion. Well, you think this Arizona or some shit? No, you think we San Diego? Fuck no. We're not doing that. Play it safe. You know what I'm saying? So that's I'm I'm 50-50 with him. I mean, I, I still say give it a year. Some days I want him fired immediately. But I say <laughs> I'm gonna stay give him a year and we'll see how I go. He continues the tradition of Patriot assistance struggling. <laughs> Wherever they go as head coaches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I spoke to Bill last week, and I was asking why he didn't hire nobody. He said, oh, yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, like, it's, looking like, it's looking like he was right. So, you know, we'll oh, see. Man. Well, yeah, we'll get started, man. But good analysis on that game. So that game is out of the way. So yeah. we'll recap. We'll go ahead and start our recap, man, Um, for what week was it? Week five last week. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this, man. Week five was a very profitable week for me. I mean, I, I tend to post my shit. I tend to post my shit on Instagram. I love it, man. Like, y'all are funny. Some of y'all be DMing me talking about, yo, you know, like, like, damn, how much you win? Like, I told you, I don't know you. I'm not a social media guy. I just kind of do it for the podcast. And as you can see, I don't have a lot of followers. I don't follow a lot of people. I don't do none of that. I stick to the podcast. And I stick to motivating and working out type shit. Because that's just the stuff that, you know, that I like. But, I mean, posting these, um, my little shits on Instagram, man. I mean, like I said, did you get you get a chance to see what I'm talking about. I don't just be talking. I don't just say one thing on the fucking show. And then I get on and I don't really bet what I'm supposed to bet. Yeah, you see my wins. You see my losses. You see what I won. You ain't seeing how much I won. I ain't going to tell you that damn much. Um, but still at the same time, I want you guys to just understand that when we do do the bets, that's why we're very well respected. We do what we say we're going to do. But um, let's get started with now, these. On stories. that, let, let me have a quick moment of silence for the firing of Matt Rule, one of my favorite bets. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, it's hey, Carolina hey, giving on. up over 17 points. Where one and two, had lost eighteen in a row, where the other team scored seventeen points, the gift that keeps on giving every week. San Francisco man, came I'm through again. I'm gonna miss you, man. Rule. I'm telling. Well, uh, hey, Z, but we still got Baker. We still got we Baker. Still got Baker. We Baker. still got He's Baker. He's our friend. And then, <laughs> and I, 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 I can't even do the heart. My fingers on, on, I can't on the, the on the on the prop <laughs> side. Baker to throw a pick. Matt Stafford to throw a pick. Throw a pick. Kirk Cousins Matt Ryan throw a pick. to throw a pick. Carson Wentz to throw a pick. All of them oh, yeah. this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you just do a fucking parlay with them motherfuckers throwing a pick, you, you're a or, thousand. Or, or Kelsey touchdown. Cash oh, Kelsey every week. Touchdown. Kelsey touchdown. Kelsey touchdown. Every Kelsey. week. Oh, I don't even look at the number anymore. I'll, man, save it for the bets, man. <laughs> but, yeah, they can. Uh, moving on to this next game, man. Not gonna spend long on this either. The Vikings won at home over the Bears when a very I don't know. I guess the Bears came back in the second half. Bro, Bear, Kirk Cousins just won. overrated. <laughs> Who said he was great though? Uh, bro, there's a lot of people that love Kirk Cousins. I, I love Kirk Cousins. I ain't saying he's great. Nah, I, I, I know somebody Kirk be like Kirk money, Cousins. Though. Kirk Cousins easily, <laughs> easily. Uh, Kirk Cousins like I know people that say Kirk Cousins. There's not eight quarterbacks better than him. Yeah, I mean, eight? The, the, the Bears' offense. Nah, they're, they're I mean, I, nah, I, 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 they're, there's definitely eight quarterbacks more than that. Yeah, their offense is brutal. It shouldn't have been that close. But there's definitely eight quarterbacks better than them. Hold on, let's go. Let's, let's do it right now. Oh, oh you, I knew you wanted to smoke. I knew you wanted to smoke. I'll try to skip over. All right, all right, cool. All right. All right, so we got, so we got Josh. We got Josh oh, Allen. You got T. Brady, Brady, of course. Who else? Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Mahomes. Damn, Brady, Mahomes. Allen, Her Herbert. 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 Oh, let him, let him Herbert, go. yeah, yeah, Jay Herbo, of course. Jay Herbo, of course. I was saying Russ at one point, but this is just looking crazy. Russ. But guess, but guess what? But guess, guess, guess what I'm about to say. <laughs> guess what I'm about to say. Now you think, you think this is funny? Guess what I'm about to say. Who's that? Gino Smith. <laughs> that, that Gino, Gino, hey, the, hey, the league in <laughs> I can't with you now, man. You reaching, dude. Gino Smith. Z, tell him. Z, 
He's leading the league in passing. Man. I mean, he does have the worst defense in the league, too, on Seattle. So they give Man. up a lot of points. They score a lot of points. <laughs> Right. We're going to just skip over this. <laughs> Geno Smith is better than Kirk Cousins. There's no point of even talking anymore. Because I can't even. <laughs> show, show. Man, okay, I'm so, just saying. Okay, what, Jared Goff? Oh, yeah, Baker you know Mayfield. Jared Goff. Look, Jared, Jared Goff, Carr. Aaron Rodgers. Derek Carr. Derek Carr, yeah. yeah. That's oh, he, he's better than Kirk Cousins? Yes, yeah, he's he is. better. Hell no. Uh-uh. Yeah, he is. What? No, not, he not is. Carr, no. Nah, Carr's definitely better than Cousins. So nah, Carr is definitely of course, better. Lamar. You can't, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm not. I should have mentioned Lamar in the beginning, but Lamar had a, a, a track record of smoking all the white great quarterbacks in one season. So I'll always be. He, he always <laughs> had a place in my heart. <laughs> he always had a place in my heart. That one. I, season. I'll say this: would well, just take. I know it's Joe your Burrow. Take your cut. Is he better than Kyler Murray? Is he better than Kyler Murray? You're saying Geno Smith. So yeah, he must be because Gino, he's Carla Murray's better than Gino. <laughs> right now, Gino Smith looking like a top top seven quarterback. This game. <laughs> Come on, man! Look, I never I thought Gino Gino looking better than Russell. I tell you that Gino looking better than Russell. Gino well, looking better than Russell. Trash. I know Gino but... Gino looking better than Murray right now. Yeah, Gino looking better than a lot of quarterbacks. Who did they just play again? Uh, I can't remember who did they just play. Uh, who they put up them points? I forgot because it was back yeah, in New Orleans. Oh, that was the yeah. Taysom, Taysom Hill came in and beat him. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. I ain't one with no damn you know Smith. But okay, you just don't like Kirk Cousins. That's what that is. No, bro, yeah, it's the we, truth. Though. Gonna say, it's Mr. Trubisky and Kenny Pickett better than them too. Oh, look, 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 relax. I ain't saying that. Carson just yet. Wentz and Baker Kenny, Mayfield. Kenny will be. He will. No, Kenny be will be. Kenny will be. Yeah, what? We'll Kenny see. No, I'm so, I said we'll see. I said we'll man, see. Man, come on, man. Don't be like Kirk Cousins that much. You think Kenny ain't gonna be better than him? I'm saying, bro, he's a rookie. We don't know. Oh, no. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't Zach Wilson. I ain't saying Zach Wilson better than Kirk Cousins. He's not. He's not. Zach is not better than Kirk Cousins. Yeah, right. I mean, Trevor Lawrence. Right. Oh, and Joe. Kirk Cousins? Joe Burrow. I, I, ah. Nope. Right. Deshaun Watson. Oh. Deshaun, Deshaun Watson. Watson. Yeah, yeah, he's better yeah. than Kirk Cousins. I mean. So he, he might, there might be eight, but yeah, he's yeah. Geno Smith. Is, that's a reach, for real. That's bro, a reach. <laughs> career-wise, sure, you're right. But this season? This season. He's what, 22? Gino, Gino is cooking. Kirk Cousins had bad terrible team. games. Bro, but you got to Those understand. are garbage points, though. Garbage points, yards, and stuff like that. I mean, that's true, too. But it's not like he has a good he, he has a good personnel, either. The only I will say here, what, Lockett and Metcalf. That old line been garbage. And it still is garbage. Penny been hurt. They got this suspect running back core, and he still do it. Kirk Cousins with his with his type of with type of squad he has, there should be no contest against Chicago. He should be smoking everybody. That's a Demon, opponent. Justin, man, fuck all that. And he got Dalvin Cook. That, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. But we picked if the Vikings to be a problem this year, though. We That's did. It. We and did. They are. They are bro, bro, them, them, them niggas had Chicago giving them go, bro. I don't want to hit it. I ain't worried about that. That's I don't care. Please, child, child, please. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. Man. Almost oh, lost man. my money. Bet on that bum ass and Vikings, too. You almost lost really, my damn money. That's what it really you know, is. Yeah, go ahead. My bad, bro. I'm off my soapbox. Yeah, nah, I, I feel you. I feel you. So moving on, man. This next game, we're not going to talk long over it. Uh, uh, the Patriots 29 to 0 over the. Uh, that was my, know, my bet of the week. My bet man, of the week came too was, easy. People, I know so people, so many people that lost money on that goddamn game. Wait, wait, which game? So many that Lions game because people was going. Oh, the Lions scored so many points. Look. They do this and they do that. And look, I was sitting there looking at them at the casino. I yeah. looking at the ticket. I'm like, man, you really bet that much money on uh, the Lions? Look, my yeah. simple theory: Belichick versus Dan Campbell. I was like, oh hell no! Hell no! This shit is yeah. the easiest bet on the card. I yeah. was like, hell yeah! I'm about to say I missed that game because I woke up too late, but I was pissed because I saw that was that was like shh, that, that was that was my full Easy. analysis. Well, of course, watching Zappy the week before is unbelievable. So he's yeah. he's better than Mac Jones to be. He's I mean, potent and he can run. Yeah, no, Zappy and- Zappy's nice. And then, and-, and, then, and then you pair that with Belichick shutting down Golf in the Super Bowl. Goff did nothing with the Rams against the Patriots' defense at the Super Bowl. So he's got the playbook defensively to shut down he's Goff. He's a defensive guru. 
he's the only defensive guru and like a real, real guru in the NFL. Like Bill right. against certain quarterbacks and against against really anybody, he's gonna hold them to hold their own unless you just got an elite temp. I'll say this: the for the sports betters, they know, especially me. Bailey Zappi went to what WKU? Yep. WKU had that record. Man, Score I made record. so much money with Bailey Zappi, dude. Like this, this is this <laughs> See, is I'm not stuff. Happy. Oh yeah, like I said, God. I bet yep. college football, so I know. I read articles. Yeah. I watch these dudes. Broke touchdown like, records. He, he was, was unbelievable. He was, oh, he was like right. that? Like that? He, he was like that. Because it was just WKU. They were like a 1AA school. Ah. Uh, um, and, they, you know, people don't – like, that's that's I mean, the – literally like, 60, that's the touchdowns, 60 touchdowns a year. That dude was going crazy. Oh, <laughs> going nuts. That's what I'm saying. And that's where the real money is. Yeah. I mean, in sports, especially in college, you got to start watching these – because uh, these sports betters and these bookmakers and art, they don't know college like that. So when I look at these lines, like I keep saying it, Coastal Carolina, SMU, um, East Carolina, these small to the mid-major schools, I'm telling you, they, they they smash people. They beat people for like 50 points. That's what I like. You know what I mean? It'd be like minus 30 and they beat them by 50. I'm like, damn. That really yeah. didn't happen. I remember you brought up SMU in the very beginning. We talked about that. For yeah, sure, man. yeah, we talked about that for sure. So, but we're right? going to these games, man. They smashed them. Oh, we just talked about the Saints, they got the win 39 32. Gino is looking good, though. I'm, I am proud of dude. Yeah, I'm proud of him, too. I'm proud of Black Boy getting the opportunity. Man. No, you're good. Next game, the Dolphins. Oh, man, they're going downhill 17 to 40. My Jets, the New York Jets, man. I'm gonna cover. They gonna cover the spread again next week over the goddamn. Uh, what is it? They Packers? are. They is it are. Packers? Yeah, they, they got the Packers next week. Yep. Oh man. They damn right. They are gonna cover the spread. Yeah. So they made me beat. money too. And the thing is, you tease that motherfucker up. Get plus fourteen, man. What? Man. Oh, man. Y'all sleeping on these teases. I keep telling y'all. They don't know, bro. I didn't lose last weekend. Right. See, that's the not thing. one bit. <laughs> we don't lose. <laughs> I was eating. (laughs) Yeah, so it it is what it is. But yeah, they got blown out. Bucks. I'm not gonna spend long on this game, man. Yes, it was a. It was not a rough in the. It was a bad call. Okay, we know that. It it is what it is. It happened. Terrible. Terrible. It was a terrible call. But at the end of the day, you still had to get the ball back, drive down the field, and you have to have to just see about that because you know I got the Devin White on. You know, I mean, let me see. Although the, the Falcons you know, did Devin. cover again, <laughs> five and zero. They did ATS, cover. Only undefeated team ATS, Atlanta Falcons. Nah, that's one of the ones that got me to bet. Falcons yes, cover this year. They are, they are mm-hmm. a feisty little squad. They'll hang around in there. But if you're a Bucks fan, we got a short. I'm I'm happy with Byron Leftwich play call in this game. That's why this game was close. Uh, we ran the ball a lot more than a net. I think we got two TDs. So if you had him in fantasy, he was doing good. Um, yeah. Uh, Tom Brady, Byron Leftwich got stopped wearing time out, man. Yeah, I think he threw like 50 times or close man. to it. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about Byron, man. We got to start running the ball with Leno Fournette. And uh, I forgot there was a young rookie running back that was running for us pretty well, too. We got to give those guys the ball a little more, man, rather than keep wearing time out. Um, I would rather just run, run, run regular season. If we lose some games, we lose. But I would run it. I want to see Tom's old ass arm for the playoffs, man. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. But come on, man. I mean, it's just still a 45 year old man. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know when to use it. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, moving on to this next game. I do want to talk about this. And everybody already knows how much I climb the fucking commanders. But really, dude? Really? <laughs> we gotta talk about this. Uh, uh, co- coach, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, I again, start? another bet cast fading the commanders. Titans come through again and, and cast that. Uh, Fade the commanders too. David Titans with plus six. WVU with the play with the pick at the end to win it. But yeah, commanders, man. man everybody, yeah, everybody in Washington going crazy because. I mean, it, it's just wild to me. Like, I, it's, actually, it's not wild to me. They can't do anything right, dude. Like, they can't do anything right. How do you, can you you get the ball at the one yard line? First of all, you should have challenged that dumb play. You know he ain't catch that motherfucker. And who was it, Cam? You gotta really use a challenge on Cam Sims, really. Um, and then you get to the one yard line. Yeah. Okay, cool. 
You didn't run the ball one time. You didn't give the ball to uh, Gibson or what's the dude that got shot him one time uh, on first Rob, or second? Brian Robinson. Uh, Brian yeah. Robinson. Speaking yeah. of that, his intro was yeah. fire. Yeah. The intro was fire. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. He, they did him right. Senator. Yeah, they did him right. Like, yes. Sir. <laughs> and you, you, you see online where, where fifty responded and, and, and sent him a message, which is pretty cool. That's fine. Yeah, but yeah, uh, well, I'm happy for the dudes making this comeback because they really yeah. they tried to lay my man. I was it over there near Ben's Chili Bowl, man. But yeah. for dudes, six, he got to understand. Weeks ago, six weeks later, he played. Yeah, yeah. That, but that just goes to show you when you come here, man. These athletes. You can't come around here like like shining like that. You got to be aware of your surroundings, man. You can be nah. pulling a Ferrari, pulling up a Jim's, Ben's Chili Bowl, man. What's wrong with you? Like, that's not nah. – that's a different side of town. <laughs> side, man. They regentrifying. They're trying to kick the people out. You yeah. know what I mean? But they're not all gone. Nah, they're not all gone. You know, so. the New Balance is going to be spread out. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know the New Balance. You see the New Balance. <laughs> you see multiple. Hey, look, I need, I I need cool some 99 nine too. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah I need some 99 too. They're oh, comfortable as fuck. I use them just for the gym. They saw the shoes. I swear they, 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 com- they comfortable as fuck, though. Don't, go ahead and lie. Say you. <laughs> say, no, go ahead and lie. Like the old people. I give them to the old people at the nursing homes. Oh, I go see gosh. great-grandma. Hey, great-grandma. You know oh, I mean? Lord. He he just, just, okay. You know what I mean? They're like, they're like, they're like, they the shoes you wear when... Um... <laughs> let me, no, let me stop. You can't, you can't even keep a straight face, though. Look at you. You can't even keep a straight face. It's just it's, it's funny you. to me, motherfuckers, thinking they cool. They're like, yo... You know, you got your J's on. Look, look at my cool grays. I'm mean, like, yo, them shits is ugly as hell. Hey, you, you know the crazy thing about it, though, is they going for money, money. I know. I was pissed. I'm like, when did the world start? Ju- <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, hell no. Nah. Okay, y'all can't have my money. That got to come down. I'd be damned if I pay any more than what I paid for them goddamn shoes. Y'all got me hip. Fucked up. What? Nah, man. <laughs> anyway, Tripping. Washington, man. I don't know what's going on with y'all, man. I told y'all about Carson. I told you he was trash. I told you he was going to do nothing this season. And look, Coach told the world. Coach told the world. <laughs> he just made me right again. Because people was talking bad. Oh, man, Carson went to you. had a problem, man. Eagles and this and this and that. Um, But now you get to see. Now you get to see what, what Carson Wentz is. He's a bum. You know what I mean? Him I mean, and Baker Mayfield are the worst defense, quarterbacks in the league. Their defense is horrible, too. I mean, overrated. Yeah, yeah. All them first overrated. round picks on the D line and bums. No. Yeah. Except yeah. Allen. I'm sorry, Allen. You're not a bum. Allen is nice. Allen is nice. You, you don't like you don't like pain? I think pain is straight. Man, big and soft. Man. Oh man. Big and soft. Damn. Big soft Alabama. Man. Go back home, man. You know, Damn. he probably sick of his home cooking. He wants to, you know, home cooking. But no, I'm do soft on that D line. Pain, sorry. Um, sweated, he picked it up a little bit. I don't know why they let Ionitis go for nothing. He was the only pro bowler a few years ago. Um, right. I, you know, I was a big Any fan. on the Bills now? Any on the Bills or something? Something yeah. crazy. Right. <laughs> you crazy. better get a I was, I was a big fan of Ionitis. I was like, dog, what? Oh, hell. When no. is Chase Young coming back, man? It's like uh, it's he's a using development. Like he's supposed to. Chase Young is supposed to be on a level with like TJ Watt. Yeah, you know, I'm, well, maybe not that high, but maybe like close to like a Max Crosby or a Shaq Barrett. Nah, he is supposed to be on some TJ Watt shit. The way Max, they talk you, about Chase Young, they, yeah, no, nah, I don't give, a, I don't give a fuck. I'm, t- I'm telling the truth. I don't give a <laughs> or, fuck. Or even his, about. his Ohio State guy, Bosa. He's not even. Yeah, he's supposed, he's supposed to be like here. Bosa, TJ. He's supposed to be that level athlete when you're talking about it, like generational Bosa, type. Yeah, all them old yeah. ends. You know who he reminds me of? And I'm, I'm sorry to say it. I don't Uh-oh. think you watched the podcast. He just reminds me of Aaron Maven, a high pick. Ooh, he came from like Penn State. Yeah, Penn State, yeah. Likes to run around yeah. people. Baltimore guy, yeah. Can, you can't run around people in the NFL, bro. You got to have hands. You got to be yeah. powerful. Like I said, if, if you ever meet Nick Bosa or Joey Bosa or TJ Watt, these motherfuckers look like the mannequins at Dick's Sporting Goods. If you want to see, if you want to ever meet them, just go to the mannequin. Well, that, at Dick's mean, Sporting but Goods. Chase Young yeah, looks, he, he looks the part. I mean, Chase, no, he don't Chase he's not that big. He's slim, though. Well, yeah, but he's, he's, he's cut. Muscular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. 
He's like, I mean, Chase can get that. Just, just Chase can get that. I just need a weight room. I can see it on this frame for sure. Yeah. But he got to want it. Yeah, living, yeah. living weights sometimes ain't easy. That shit can be grueling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might yeah. run a, he's probably faster than them dudes, but yeah, of course. Track. This is I mean, his, his rookie year. He was on pace to be a star. And then that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, because I remember what the Steelers were 11 and 0, and then Washington went in there and beat him, and he went crazy. That guy, there was a a thing with him and Tomlin, and he's like, I don't want to ever be lose so many games that I have a chance to get a guy like you. And that was on the on the mic up. And I'm thinking, here we are years later. You might it's the first like time. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing all these games. First time losing my yeah, that's crazy. I guess we also that was the end of that. Not gonna spend long on this. The Texans 13-6. Um that was an ugly ass game. Lovey Smith got his first win. Um, yeah. let's see. 49ers and the Panthers. They won uh, on the road. One last cash for that over 17. I love it though. Over 17 uh, Carolina cash. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like what can I say, man? Like Baker Mayfield, brother, money. keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing. I hope you keep <laughs> on the not, build. I'm no, telling now, you. Now I love it. He got hurt. He got hurt. So Damn now it's, it. it's PJ Walker. So Damn so we lo- we lose the combination of Baker and Matt Rule, the gift that kept on giving. Oh damn it, man! That was a hell that of a That was my cash too. cow, man. That was my cash cow. 18, Baker made me eighteen, 18 in a row. Game. Eighteen in a row when the opposition scored seventeen points, Carolina lost. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, as soon as the seventeenth point was scored, I'm like, let me. I, I, I know I already won my bet. I was like, oh yeah, it could be the first quarter. It's seventeen ten. I'm like, it's over. Game over. I won. We got to seventeen. NFL gonna have to do it like a, a statue of limitations on some of these hiring uh, these college coaches because these dudes do not deserve, deserve anything. They they get in, they get out. Look at the guys that came and went. Uh, and get Brian out Kelly, forty two. Brian million. Kelly, Nick Saban. Um, what's the dude? You just got fired. Matt Rule. Uh, yeah. They just they just send them the fuck yeah, off. Chip, dudes, Chip Kelly. Know? Chip Kelly. Yeah. It's crazy to me, man. Like stop. Uh, these, this is a different lease. Well, even going back, man. Bobby Petrino in Atlanta. <laughs> Remember that he quit in the middle of the year. <laughs> oh, man. The, the Falcons were saying we had a they had a team meeting Tuesday, Wednesday morning. They turned on TV and Petrino, big suey, big suey. <laughs> He's a, like what the hell? Damn. They run, man. They run from the NFL. I'm telling you, it's a different animal. But uh, yeah, he's going to Panthers, uh, one and four, three, 49ers, three and two with uh, Jimmy G back. I told y'all boys they coming. But um, uh, this cow, Cowboys, man. Cowboys. Motherfuckers cover covering again. another one. They're covering that motherfucker. Uh, they're getting that money, man. Cowboys, if Cooper Rush. You might not. I, I'm not a Cowboys fan. I go where the money goes. Them motherfuckers getting me money. Okay? They're getting me large, <laughs> large cash. I'm telling you. Because I'm, I'm just telling you, they're getting me large cash. And it's it's just crazy. They remind me that oh, it's a di- they went in a different way. Because a few years ago, I remember when <clears throat> when Zeke and Dak was a rookie. And this, do you probably remember? Remember when they beat y'all on the road or something like that? And Zeke got yeah, like a last, screen. La- last play of the game. Yeah. yeah, like it reminds me of like they won. They cover like eight straight, um, like bets or something. Dallas is on a pace to do some shit like that. So even if you don't like the Cowboys, put some money on them. Maybe not this week because I got the Eagles, but Look, they they going to up against my cash cow, my favorite team. Oh, the fly, Eagles, yeah. Eagles, fly. <laughs> Win I me love some more money. I don't know the song, but I they can every week. Nah, I love it. Like I said, money will make you do that shit, man. Can you imagine just walking into it like yo? Do I want to really, do I really want to buy these two hundred fifty dollars shoes? Or do I want to wait until after I, I bet on the Eagles or bet against Baker Mayfield and get free money and then buy the new shoe? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why this this gonna it's be a free fun. Money. This gonna be a fun week. Eagles Cowboys because yeah, the teams, the teams that have both earned everybody some cash from a betting perspective, you're gonna be torn. But I keep thinking Eagles at home. And remember the Minnesota game when they were at home and they went crazy on Minnesota on that Monday night. That's the vision yep. I have. Fly Eagles, fly again. Oh no, but we're gonna get to it. And much. So for this week, man, we'll 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 zoom through this real quick. So for tomorrow night, man, which was Thursday, 
The Bears and Commanders, fellas. So who do we got? Bears. Bears. I got the Bears. Z, who you got? Uh, hmm. Playing the Commanders now. This should be a no-brainer. They suck real bad. Uh, Carson Wentz is und- undefeated on Thursday night. 11 and 0. Thursday, or what is it? 9 and 0 was the stat I saw on Thursday night. Mm. And I mean, Washington, Washington, Washington oh. maybe do Washington do for one. It's a weird, quirky stat, but when you see something like that, he's never lost on Thursday night. A lot of that was with the Eagles, but I mean, yeah. So what you got with it? What you taking? No, under. Every Thursday night has gone. Now you got to pick one. Now you got to pick one. We, well, that's your bet for we got you guys got to yeah, pick. Yeah, but we're talking about who winning. Yeah, we're going through that. Who will win the game? Yeah. Uh, nah, I'll go with the Bears. Bears looked alive in the second half of the last game, even though they lost. They played well. Yeah. I like the yeah. Bears at home. Justin Fields, that guy. He looks a little better. I, I'll give yeah. him that. I'm happy for the dude. He's doing a little better. Um, next game. Okay. Well, I was, you already know what you're going to see with this one. <laughs> the Bucks going to, going to Pittsburgh, baby. Hey, don't worry. Don't oh, worry, Z. I'll hold this L for you. Uh, Pittsburgh, oh, baby. Okay. Pittsburgh. Way to go, my, 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 I lied. I'm not holding this L. <laughs> These are two under teams. But Steelers have so many injuries on defense. It's just yeah, they, they don't it's have. No them. Bucks. Bucks. All right. We all three for Bucks. Yeah. All, all three on the Bucks. Bucks fans. Let's get back on track, man. Byron Lefwich, run the ball, dude. Run the fucking ball. Stop wearing timeout. All um, them damn former Steelers on the Bucks staff. I mean, it's just. And then here's the worst thing. For the first time in Steelers history, they were supposed to be. They had the top uh, announcing crew was supposed to be on this game. They backed out of it today. <laughs> I, so, that's, I was like, oh, why would you? God. Who would want to call this game? It's going to be oh. lopsided, ugly. Talk I about mean, rock rock bottom. I, when I saw that today, Fox has pulled their top broadcasters off the Buck Steelers. You know what that is? Because, I mean, you look at it, who would want to call that? I mean, it's going to be nothing to really talk positively about. It's going to be a blowout. Yeah. Bucks fans, you know what I mean? Okay. They're going to start right. yeah. Bucks. Move, moving Move on. on. Uh, the Bengals. Bengals are on the road playing the Saints, man, in New Orleans. Who we got? Uh, it's a close I, game. They got. I, I got Bengals. Got Bengals. Yeah, yeah. Bengals. Bengals. Bengals lost a close game to um, Baltimore uh, just that week. And uh, Miami Dolphins. It like they kind of like that was a closer game than what people think. When the twenty-seven to fifteen, they kind of took off towards the end. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, and okay. Dolphins on their third string quarterback. I mean, not Dolphins. Saints. Are they playing Dolphins? Saints. No, no, Saints got yeah, tight. Man, come on, man. Nah, I'm going with Joe. But look, no, interesting. Okay. Joe and Jamar coming back to New Orleans is gonna be. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Joe, Joe. Do I hear Joe? I mean, <laughs> I'll take the Saints. I, I think Saints. Oh, no Z, way. Got, man. I man, I just Joe Burrow. It would be a stay away game, but I, I yeah, the home yeah, the Saints, Saints at home two two weeks on the road back to back for Alvin Bengals is right. That's why I look at it. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Damn, I Ooh. did not know it back. All right, I'm going Saints. I ain't know that. I ain't know that. My bad. My bad. All good. Moving on. Uh, the Colts and the Jags, two ugly ass teams. I just take the Colts because my boy D like the Colts. Man, I'm going to Jags. <laughs> Jags have, have Jags. dominated. They've dominated the Colts the last. The last man, come I on, mean, man. You know, no. Nobody it's, worry about Matty Ice. It's crazy when you, when you when you look at the last three years when the when the Jags were horrible, they always beat the Colts. <laughs> the Colts. Yeah, I guess this will be none of the same. It's uh, not the same old <laughs> script. All right, next same shit. So I mean, two one. Uh, next game, Browns. Browns at home. Got the Patriots coming to town. Uh. Like like I said, man, I already said it. I like the Browns. The Browns gonna win this game. Uh, see, here, here's here's my angle on this. So Jacoby Brissett, drafted by Bill Belichick. Who knows him? Yeah, Pats, Pats, <laughs> Pats. That, that's nice. a, that's a Patriot man. That's just a, like just a, like last week. With, teaser uh, plus money. Pats. It's a more talented team, but who you got? Do you got? Oh, Jay got the Pats. Who you guys? Uh, do? No, I'm on the Pats. All yeah, Brissett okay, going right. against somebody who knows him front and back. Yeah. Easy. What's the next this one? Is, this that is Belichick, easy. a Belichick special. And Belichick returning to Cleveland where they fired him. Remember, mm-hmm. they fired him. <laughs> he, went, he went to New England. And the I rest is that. history. All right. Well, Bailey Zapp, you have to show me, brother. I ain't just, you know. But anyway, moving on, uh, the Jets, man. The Jets going to Green Bay. Got an early game at 1 o'clock. Jets. This is a big-ass 
Spread. Seven and a half. Green Bay cannot cover spread. And I would oh, take I would take the point. That is yeah, my bet. Jets. But, and even for the win, I'm taking the fucking look, Jets. Look, last week, the New York look, 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 look at this. Last week it was seven and a half, too. And the Giants Jets won three and two. Outright. Now look at look at the dynamic coming all the way from London and no They must be four and two. I mean, <laughs> they four and two. <laughs> Crazy. <man. laughs> Oh, man. Zach I thought they used to have a bye week when they after the London game. They're coming all the way from London, no bye week. NFL don't give a fuck about nobody. Oh, they want my money. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Yeah, come over and play your shit, bro. You guys see? Shit. No, I'm taking, seven, I'm taking a seven and a half. I, I'm saying, who wins? Who wins who the wins? game? Yeah. Because we got, we got people that watch the, just to see yeah. who wins. Just and then yeah. we'll yeah. close with the bets. I think the Packers will win the game at home, but they will not cover. That's seven and a half. I'll take the point. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So moving on, uh, next game, fellas. The Ravens go to New York. Uh, the, the Ravens are Ravens. 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 Now, Ravens. That dynamic Wink Martindale, defensive coordinator for the Giants, fired by the Ravens at the end of the season. The Giants. Last Ravens. And, and then look, look how the Ravens. Ravens look how the Better Ravens the defense. Color. Ravens defense has struggled without Wink this year. And the Giants' defense has gone. I mean, that he's, he's blitz, 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 blitz. If I could yeah. put an asterisk, if if you're listening to the show, put an asterisk next to that game. If you take the fucking Giants with them plus points, and, and tease that game up wow. with another game, man, and put on the road. Baltimore, Baltimore minus six, so you, you you're getting that six points with the Giants. Take the that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. This yeah. is a game. I, I want you guys to understand. And I want when we come back next week, I want to know if you guys did it. I'm telling you, tease this game with another game just to be safe. You know, get plus twelve or whatever the fuck it might be, and they're not Baltimore. Even if they do, they're not winning by that much. Yeah, they're not that, that much. that with another game and just put a lot of money on it, man. I, I'm it. And, and think about it. Wink knows Lamar. He went against Lamar in practice every day for four years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He knows. Yep. So moving on, uh, next game: the Vikings on the road, uh, four and one. Uh, surprising record to play in the Dolphins in Miami. Uh, I don't even know who the quarterback's going to be. Vikings, yeah, yeah, Dolphins don't have a damn Skyler, thing. Skyler Thompson is the Dolphins quarterback. From Kansas yeah. State? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Give, me, give me the Vikings. Sorry. And the Vikings only a 3.5 favorite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Vegas thinks something's going to happen, though. So, yeah. Something because weird, but... A cold-weather team going to the heat of Miami. That's yeah. Yeah. But I like the Vikings, man. So I'm taking the Vikings too. You gotta be out your goddamn mind. But go ahead. Skyler Thompson. Who you guys see? No, I'm on the Vikings. Vikings. Got you. So next game. Um, this closes out the one o'clock schedule. The 49ers on the road going to Atlanta, man. Falcons. Ooh, okay. Falcons. See who you got. So oof. that's a big spray. I'm teasing them down, but ooh, uh, I'm, uh, I mean, I would take or, or tease the Falcons up. Falcons are covered every spread this year. Yeah. Every, I just don't every spread. That's just me. Who you got winning the game? Now, Niners win the game, but Falcons are covered. Yeah, okay. I got Falcons covering. Right, Easy, okay. but Falcons winning. I got Falcons winning, though. Yep. Shocker. Start of the 4 o'clock window. Uh, the Rams. Rams are at home. Rams is winning. <laughs> and the Panthers. Man. Rams winning. Rams so this winning. will be this will be the test if the seventeen point thing continues without Baker and without uh, <laughs> Matt Rule. Yeah, oh, the quarterback. Who's it? Real Gray or something? No, it's gonna be um, Walker. Oh, PJ P- Walker. PJ Walker. Man, I cannot put enough money on this fucking game. They, I, I, I'm not even a spray yeah, yeah. guy. The Rams are gonna have to just blow this team out because they're playing they garbage. But but they, they don't. Are. Rams are one of the worst spread teams this year. They haven't covered. They, they're gonna blow this team out because this this team is different. This is the Panthers. Yeah, this is the Panthers. <laughs> it's the Panthers. But yeah, I like the Panthers. I, well, I mean, I'm sorry, the Rams. Yep. Um, moving on. Next game, the Cardinals. Cardinals on the road in Seattle, man. Your I, boy I Geno like, Smith. I like the Cardinals here. Uh, on the road, Seahawks defense is the worst defense. If 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 Kyler <laughs> move the ball against the Philly defense, what are they going to do against Seattle's defense? Yeah, Geno Gen- uh, can't play both sides of the ball, so the that over is probably the best bet in this game. Yeah, but I would lean, and then Cardinals are three point favorite. Yep, so I, I would I would take the Cardinals. I'd lay the three. Yep, 
Cardinals can't do no right right now. And, and they're good on the road. They've won nine straight on the road. They've lost eight straight at home. So they win on the road. They lose at home. I'm Cards, sorry. then. Cards, baby. Give me Seattle. I can't do that. Kyler Murray looked like garbage out there. He just like a little, little kid. Little ankle biter running around out there. I can't do with that. Big, what they said the big ass taller, big ass helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it, man. Just look out of place all the time. But yeah, I, I like um uh, I like Seattle in this game. I think they'll win at home. Uh next game. This is a big game, man. Uh and this is the main game you put your fucking money on. The Bills on the road in Kansas City, a road favorite. Um, two and a half man. right now is the spread. Who y'all got, man? You already know I'm taking my the, bills, baby. First thing is the bills. Over. I mean, the first thing you look at the over cashing because Mahomes yeah. and Josh Allen gonna put up points. So, yep. uh, the over will be your first bet. Secondly, what makes me oh my gosh, Patrick Mahomes' record as an underdog, I think, is ridiculous. He's like 14 and 0 as an underdog, but. Keep that same issue, energy this week. That's all I'm going to say. The issue is uh, Orlando Brown at left tackle. He's big and he's slow. And Raiders kind of exposed him with Chandler oh, Jones. Miller. And um, what is this? That dude, yeah. The dude from, from Central Michigan. Oh, yeah. Max Max. Yeah, yeah. Mad Max. Max Crosby. Yeah. They, they, they went at him and went at him and went at him and – you're you're going to Vaughn Miller now, and then uh, Rousseau on the other side, who was their first round pick. Yeah, <laughs> was it last year? Mm-hmm. Who'd you pick? Say all that. Say what? Who you got? Yeah, right. The bottom line. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you, Rome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. Who you got, man? This you ain't got no money on it. No, you know, no, I'm not. I'm literally yeah. thinking of the of, of the bet. I mean, I would. Who wins? Plus money. It's hard to go against the Chiefs as an underdog. I would take the plus Chiefs. money. Yeah, I'm going Chiefs. I'm going Chiefs. I got Bills. But bills, just in the bets, but the I think the, the, the Bills are a better team. Bills are power rated higher. But again, this remember, remember, remember the Bucks. Time. Remember the Bucks game in Tampa. Chiefs were the underdog. Mahomes we won. sucked at that point, though. This this is the Bills. This we is sucked. the Bills. This is the Bills. The Bills going to be Bills going to be Bills. But I'm going underdog. Yeah. Man, again, uh, another bet to look at is a uh, Kelsey touchdown cashed every game. <laughs> so look for that prop. Travis Kelsey uh, to score. Uh, here go the game. All right. Here so goes here, the game. Here's the game. The Cowboys. Cowboys on the road in Philly. Man, I wish I could go to this fucking game. Damn. But I can't because I'm going to the fight. But anyway, I love the Eagles. This Shout is where out it ends. To my man. Yep, this is where it ends. This yep. Shout out to my man Trey. This is this is a different level of competition. This is the fucking uh this is the Eagles. This is that defensive line. This because y'all been playing some teams, Cowboys, y'all been playing some teams with some horrible um you, the teams that have not really had a, a decent amount of pass rush. You're gonna say the Rams and Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald's one guy. You yep. triple team, you double team them, all of this and that. Uh and you barely put up any points anyway. But um you're playing a team. And the Eagles, who can get pressure from each and every spot, Jalen Hurts is playing out of his mind right now. They're going to be at home. The Philly fans are going to be. Unbelievable. Their <laughs> offense. Yeah, their offense. They always score from, from the 20 on on end. They, they putting up six because Jalen Hurts, if that motherfucker's not open, he got to tote that bitch. Okay? <laughs> Jalen Hurts not a small dude. He runs motherfuckers so, over. So who is, who is Jiggs checking? I mean, is he going to be on Brown? It don't matter. It don't matter because he's gonna get cooked by either one of them. He's yeah, gonna get cooked yeah. by uh Smith from uh what from Alabama or wherever yep. he came from. Yeah, he's Smith get and Brown. By, uh, yeah, what's Alabama. The dude? What's the dude from the Titans? AJ Brown. AJ he'll Brown. Cook yeah. him. Quiz Watkins. He'll shoot. He'll cook him. Yeah. Um. And they got Goddard at tight end. Goddard. <laughs> They're weapons. Man, Miles are Sanders. Eagles offensive line is crazy. Yeah. Cowboys. I'm telling you. And even for the lady at the fucking gym, because you watching the show. And I was claiming you earlier today. Y'all suck, okay? They're gonna be Eagles 40 to 5. Okay. Wow. Eagles 100 <laughs> to 1. I mean, I, I, oh, I, man. I, I think the I think the Eagles win, but I think <laughs> we just fucked them up. Actually, no, nah, I'm not Eagles, Eagles, I was about to say I ain't there. Yeah, we're gonna get talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you if you honestly think about it, so it's a Sunday night game, them fans gonna be drinking all day. 
eight o'clock, go in there, and that stadium is gonna be rocking. I mean, mm. that yeah. So I, I I like the Eagles here. Cooper Rush, the the fairy tale ends this week, and Dak will be the quarterback yeah. next week. <laughs> we'll go yeah. back to Dak. Next Eagles. That's fly, it. Fly Eagles fly, baby. Fly, fly Eagles fly. fly. Let's get like that I money said. this weekend. Better the week alert. All of that, man. Like, I don't yeah. know. If you're a Cowboys fan, you're not safe this week, all right? Because I'm cooking. You're not. Because yeah, y'all getting too, you're getting too ahead of yourself. You're getting too ahead of yourself. Get out of they, pocket. They, they, they've been cashing bets thanks to Cooper, though. Cooper they have. I, 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 I ain't going to lie, because I've been cashing with the Cowboys. Dude, five like, in the, a row. The, the fans that don't even bet, they even have no money talking crazy. So, oh, we're going to the Super Bowl and all of this and that. Bro, y'all suck. Here we you go. The same Sam Super year. Bowl talk. Yep. Every Bro, you get year. to the playoffs and you lose in the first round like you did to the 49ers. They got Trayvon Diggs at corner. I uh-huh. mean, who is he going to check in this game? I ain't worried about him either at all. He time. can't check a soul. Yeah. And I'm, I, I, want you, I want you to check this out, too, before we move on and we'll close up with the last game. Michael Parsons stops this one. That all Eagles offensive line is real. They're going to put this his is, ass this is, in the dirt. Look, uh, Micah's yeah. return home back to PA. <laughs> They're going to be waiting on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, that offensive yeah. line is real. They're gonna put that boy in the dirt. But anyway, the the was the Monday night. They gotta do a better product, man. The oh. chart, the two worst. Why well, ain't it? These coaches, no, it's, man. It's, it's it's the Broncos, the most boring team. <laughs> yeah, it, it, true, it is. It is torture watching the Broncos on yeah, the yeah. every week. Oh yeah, right. yeah. charges, charges. I got the charge. Who y'all? Who y'all got? Charges. And Come on, teams. bro. Who who charges who who, who side with next? Let's start talking about bats because we already yeah. know what it is. Yeah, oh, come on, my man. Gosh. Look, did you see? Did you see <laughs> next week? Look, next week, <laughs> we, we we go from Denver to Chicago. Chicago on Thursday night this week. Now on Monday night this week. Oh man! And before we close up, before we get started with the bats, Z, I love this. I actually just got the notice. He just sure. responded back. If you're a Steelers fan, you're probably gonna love this man. Old school Steelers fan too. Um, hopefully next week, I'm trying to get uh, Levon Kirkland on. Linebacker. Oh yeah, um, hitman. Yeah, man. The hitman. Big University dude. of Florida. Yeah, man. So he's been listening to the show. I'm trying to get him on. Uh so we can talk about some Steelers football, talk about his career, talk about them years with the Steelers. He was a problem for them boys back in the day. He used to knock the yeah. shit out of people. Two two hundred and ninety pound middle linebacker. <laughs> Jesus. Yes. It, I I know he's sick now. Him and Chad Brown wouldn't let nothing go get through there on the run game. Yeah, man. So, Z, that there you go, man. I, know, I remember I was telling you earlier today. He just responded back. He said he's gonna let me know, but it's saying he said he should be able to make it. But if you're a Steelers fan, man, I'll you, I'll let you know once it gets later on during the week. But Levon Kirkland, man, uh, old Steelers linebacker. Hopefully, have him on next week to talk about some football uh, coming up. But let's close out with the bets, fellas, man. Um, so for the bets, let me get to my. I'll go quickly because I usually have a lot. Yeah. Um. So for me, man, I did incredibly well last week. Like I said, I listened to the show. I post my shit on Instagram, a lot of my tickets and shit like that. I don't show you how much I win. I don't know y'all motherfuckers. I don't know you. I don't know you. But um, <laughs> I, don't know and, you. I don't know you. Yeah, that's it, man. But uh, anyway, uh, for college, man, I, I killed it last week. I'm looking to kill it again this week. So I love SMU. I forgot who they played. <laughs> And I didn't write all of this. I wrote the team that the NFL played down. But SMU, I forgot who they play. I love them in a teaser situation on money line parlay. Michigan, I know they play Penn State. Uh, I like them winning money line. Uh, they got too much on the line. Penn State's just not right. They don't have enough offense or defense, in my opinion. Michigan should win this at home. Michigan at home. I'm not saying they're a great or better team. Well, they are the better team, but I got them winning at home. So money line and mm-hmm. teaser. Uh, as always, man, Coastal Carolina, they just keep covering. <laughs> I love them money line parlay in a teaser situation. Um, Old Miss, I like teasing them down, and I like the spread. They should really blow this game open. Uh, Kansas, I got to see if their quarterback plays, man. I think their quarterback got hurt last week yeah, in the know. loss. If he plays, I love it. If, uh, that back of quarterback, I don't know about that. But it was nice weather why it lasted with Kansas. We'll see. Texas. I love Texas. I love Texas. I love Texas in a teaser situation. BYU. I like this. I put an asterisk next to this um, because I like it so much. I love this in a money line situation. Arkansas has fell off the map like a motherfucker. They cannot score any points. The quarterback's hurt. 
Uh, yeah, think, he'll, he'll be back, though, this week. But he's still a little banged up. But this is his first week back. His so first week back. Yep. They cannot pass the ball. All they do is run. They can't put up points. BYU has a fly, high-flying offensive attack, um, and they should be solid. And they're at home. So I love that. I love James Madison. Uh, for the people that's local here to the DMV, they have been cashing every fucking week in their ranked team. Num- number one ATS team in all of college football. Games. <laughs> They're killing it. That's what I'm saying. There, there you go. I mean, it's just the proof's in the pudding. There's a lot of money in college. What I do, and this is why I win so much money, I take about a few hundred, a few hundred dollars, bet it on college football on Saturday. I win, and I get my rack up to like a few hundred. And then I bet that whole rack on Sunday games. You know what I mean? And, and that's how you, and then I kill them again. So there's just like there's no losing involved. So, but yeah, James Madison, man, they have really been winning a lot, me a lot of money. So them in a the teaser, money line parlay situation. Mississippi State, I love. They keep just winning me that money. I like them in a teaser situation. And I like Memphis. Uh, this week in a teaser over ECU. They <laughs> lost last week. I don't know how the fuck they lost to Houston. I did lose last week. I, I, I woke up. I, I was for sure Memphis won. Motherfuckers woke up. I woke up to a loss. Minus 100 in my account. What the fuck happened? Three onside kicks and the winning touchdown with eight seconds left in the game. If you got three onside kicks, you was meant to lose that, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, That's crazy dude. Look, down 21 with eight minutes left in the game. Came back and won. Yeah, that, that was something, you know, somebody didn't pray they make. That was just a, a God handling that loss. Um, but anyway, uh, for the NFL side, I'll go quickly with this. I like the Bears, money line or tease over Washington. I like the Bucks, um, money line parlay and a tease over Steelers. Uh, parlay with that with another game, man, try to get even money. I like uh, the Browns in a teaser situation over the Patriots. Teaser, not money line. I like the Jets, money line. And teaser over the Packers. Packers don't know what they they don't have no identity. They just fell off the map. Um, and then I also like the Giants. I love the Giants, man. Money line and teaser on at home over the over the Ravens. Um, I like the Vikings yeah. in a teaser over the Dolphins. I like the 49ers, money line and tease over Atlanta. I like the Rams, money line, parlay, and tease over the Panthers. I like the Bills teased up over the, the Chiefs and money line. And yep. my last two bets are I like the I love the Eagles money line. Eagles money line easers teased over the Cowboys. Like I said, they're gonna beat them 42 5. All right. Um and then 42 like, 5. Yep, literally. And then I like the Chargers money line and tease over um the sorry ass Broncos. So that's a lot of that's a lot of a lot of real content for you guys. So hopefully you guys play around with that and you know try to get that money. But what y'all got, fellas? Go ahead, Z. I'm looking at college so, right uh, now. Well, yeah. So college, the game I've been going back and forth and back and forth. So I was riding Kansas all season until last week. I got off them and I took TCU to beat them. TCU plays Oklahoma State this week. TCU is at home. I was thinking Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma State. But then when I started diving deeper in the numbers, Oklahoma State struggles against running quarterbacks. And that TCU quarterback is a running quarterback. <laughs> so uh-huh. I have sw- I'm going to take TCU, lay the four points at home versus Oklahoma State to continue mm-hmm. both in the battle undefeated teams. Um, other games, James Madison. Just I'll keep keep riding the wave. They've covered yeah. every, they've covered every game. Let's keep, keep riding. riding. And then um, again, the, uh, the my other thing has been fading Colorado every week. Oh, they so, so, you so, so wait, you're not you're not fading. You're not uh, you're not rocking with Kansas. Just want triple check. So I got to wait on that quarterback. So yeah, it, it, I mean. Oklahoma's terrible. Bro. Yeah, they are bad. You just got to see what they're that quarterback. Bad. If Kansas get their quarterback, they'll be all right. Laying nine points? I mean, yeah, they're at home, but I'll, I would take that nine points. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. It sounds if, like if, it. If Daniels plays, definitely I, I would take the nine points, put if, it in the yeah. pocket. Um, he's listed as doubtful for the game, so we'll, we'll see. A reporter online on Twitter said he was out, and then him himself responded to the reporter saying, this shit is news to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, um, but we'll see. And then NFL, I I definitely like. I'll surprise you. I I'm just gonna take a shot on the Commanders on the money line. Ooh, I've faded oh them gosh. all year against oh my the Bears. God. Uh, the Commanders. Just wow. on a, just on the hunt of the stat. Carson went six and zero on Thursday nights. Um, rookie coaches are eight and nineteen in Thursday night games. The Bears got a rookie coach, and then all this drama in Washington with Rivera and Went. They have a shot, <laughs> but I'll say light. I, I'm not going drama. heavy on this. This might it's be a little drama. a small bet, but. I think it's it five dollars. That five dollars. Yeah. You bet your coworker five dollars. Maybe, maybe worth on one this. of my <laughs> uh, But but for real real bets this week, um, I like I like the Cardinals uh, going to Seattle. I that Seattle defense is garbage. So garbage, like, high garbage. I like I like the Cardinals. I'm gonna keep rolling with the Eagles. I've been betting them every week. So fly Eagles, fly, and then. Uh, I'll take the Giants plus the points at home against Ravens. Their coach, the team, there's just something about the Giants. I mean, they may lose, but they're not going to get blown up. So I like that. I and then I, li- I like the Patriots over the Browns. Give me Belichick over uh, Jacoby Brissett, a guy he drafted, a guy he who was on the Super Bowl team behind Brady, a guy he knows well. I I trust Belichick to know what to do. And then that Browns team, they just don't know how to close games. I mean, they I – mean, no, It's that damn quarters. elf. That goddamn elf. <laughs> it's the, the, the elf. I know. Literally, the elf. Man. You know, messing up money. All types of shit. That Jets lost. <laughs> that was the first week they had it. And I was like, did they get that goddamn elf then? Fucked up my money. I went to the bathroom, everything. Z.A., did you see the Browns? Yeah, like, yeah they won. What are you talking about? Like, no. They lost. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he funny as shit. <laughs> I was mad as shit. No, yes. Yeah, so let's let's roll with the Z, man. Bailey Zappy cashed me last week. Let's get that cash again. My <laughs> man Bailey Zappy. And oh, so I'm, I'm about to pay. Look, if Mac Jones may be done. This could be a Brady uh, situation taking over. Oh from yeah, hey, bro. Oh, Bailey Zappy hey. gonna come in. Bailey Zappi will heat some shit up. Like I said, for the yes. people that don't know, look up his stuff at uh, W. Western Kentucky. They were a ranked team for a period of time, putting up like close to fifty, and, close to seventy points a game, like a college basketball team. You know, he what I mean? literally like, almost won in Green Bay, coming off the bench. Yeah. Bailey Zappi, and, and last week he dominated. He dominated Dan yeah. Campbell in Detroit. <laughs> Easy as play yeah. So let let's go Patriots. That okay. yeah, big Z bets of the week. What you got, Jay? You All got right, so I'm gonna right? keep it keep it really classy and the, the uh let's just talk about this commanders. If you're not teasing the plus six, do not touch them, motherfuckers. Stay far away. <laughs> don't do it. Please don't do it. Reconsider. Vikings with a 3.5 over the Dolphins. I got them crushing that. That's easy. I like the Patriots keeping it close on the teaser. I like that. I really, really like that. May not win, but keep it close at the plus nine. And um, Atlanta Falcons, I like them to keep in there and stay in there with 49ers. Uh, last but not least, I'm bet I'm man, we smoking Colts pack tonight, especially Maddie Ice <laughs> special. Easy with the Jags, we're taking that, especially after Jags lost coming back. They own the Colts, it just makes their fits. They beat their ass. We're always betting against Panthers because Panthers have <laughs> Baker Mayfield, even if he's not playing, he's sitting on the sideline, he just pulled <laughs> off franchises, which it. is great. So they can reset. They're ready to go too. The whole franchise is ready to move forward. So they ain't playing for real. Go ahead and smoke them rounds. Get back on your feet and fuck those cowboys. Oh yes. That's it. Yes. That's it. You said forty That's to it. one, didn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, I said, uh, I said, a hundred to two. Oh, a hundred to uh, two. Yeah, hundred to two. Sure. Y'all get the safety. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. You know, I'll give y'all some credit. I'll give y'all six points, and one touchdown, and I'll give Eagles three hundred. <laughs> Man, yeah. I love it, baby. I love it. <laughs> but man, that's yeah. the best the bets of the week, man. Oh, uh, like you said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That's for man. that's for Dallas. That's Dallas. Yeah, that's for Dallas. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
<laughs> but make sure you tune in, man. Like I said, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, we'll have uh, LeVon Kirkman on, like I said, former Steelers linebacker. We're going to talk some football, man. But uh, thanks for tuning in, man, and uh, we'll see you next show. Peace.